top of Drudge right now. Fear spreads over militarization of police in U.S. 911 call, woman terrorized, arrested for buying a case of bottled water. This has finally hit mainstream newspapers. I saw this a few days ago. I drink, well, I, actually, I talked about it a few days ago, LaCroix water. Even though I know it's bad aluminum cans, it's so good, like Topa Chico, I, I just love mineral water. And it says bottled water on it, and it's been popular across the country for a decade. And this woman, this college student, goes to the local grocery store, buys cookie dough and LaCroix, and walks out, and they SWAT team her, but, but not even in uniform, run up screaming, yelling, and then say, roll down your windows. So she goes to turn the car on so she can do that. And then they pull guns out and say, you know, don't start your car. And then they slam her around, charge her with assaulting them. It was all caught on surveillance tape. Doesn't matter. You're slamming some woman's head in the ground. You're going to go to jail, slave. And now it's all reportedly the prosecutor seen the video, all of it. It's all out there. This is America, folks. I've seen hundreds of videos where you commit no crime, but say, hey, why do you want to search me? That's it. You're going to eat concrete. Normal street gangs can't do this. I can carry a gun to protect myself from street gangs. I can't do that to protect myself from police in Mexico or North Korea or in America. And again, our police are becoming like that because the system wants this. The globalists are criminals. They've robbed the world. They want a paramilitary force in there to keep the people from taking their country back. And if police don't toe the line with the tyranny, they are removed. Now, I want Paul Watson to get into the smart meters and, and the latest news that CNS News has been reporting on that. Uh, but uh, we're, later, we're going to play the 911 call. Okay, as people witness this woman being grabbed, slammed down, and then charged. Charged with assault. Okay, Watson, go ahead, my friend. I get into the uh, other story. Well, yeah, just on that, I mean, there was also the guy who they shot his dog because he was filming police. And we see incidents like that in America every day, which is why I call it the fourth right. You know, I know things are bad in England and Europe with the surveillance and the police state, but things like that just don't happen here. If they do, it's very rare. And I read about it in America every single day. And it's, it's, it's shocking every time, and it's why people are calling it the Fourth Reich. It's really heading that way, because the police are just completely out of control. There's a lot of nice, friendly police in America, but some of them, I don't know what it is, whether it's steroids well, no, or no, it's steroids. They all watch UFC, and a lot of them are criminals. I mean, like Serpico exposed, the entire narcotics division, thousands of men, were all drug dealers. And, and I'm telling you, I mean, that's what it is. It's like goons. And they think you and your family are in a cage match with them. Yeah, we know they've been trained to treat the public as the enemy. I mean, that's come out in numerous documents again and again, but it's, it's still shocking every time. But the EPA, uh, this was out of CNS News a couple of days ago. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has revised its Energy Star efficiency requirements for residential refrigerators and is encouraging the inclusion of connected features that respond to utility signals to curb their energy consumption. What they're basically doing is paying the manufacturers as, uh, refrigerators via tax rebates and saying if you include this switch, which is optional for now, which allows the power company to turn off people's fridges in times of heightened energy use, then we'll give you kickbacks in terms of tax rebates. So the fridges are going to be cheaper. They're going to be available from next year. And it's basically, it's all to stop global warming. There hasn't been any global warming for 14 years. But really what it is, is the mainlining of the smart meter controlling your appliances, which we told you 14 years ago was the plan. And we're still attacked, even when the CIA director admits it and says he's spying on you through your dishwasher and your refrigerator, we're still bad, Paul, for being right. And they're already in California turning people's uh, air conditioners off that have gotten the rebate air conditioners. This is the plan. And, and it, it's just going forward. It's the planned opolis. It's this whole idea they're moving towards of having mega computers run by the state rationing your power all for the good of the earth. Of course, none of it's going to apply to government or military, but forget about that. You know, the government's still going to pursue all kinds of environmental horrors like GMO crops, deforestation. 
But then a day after that, Obama comes out when he visits Africa and says, planet will boil over if young Africans are allowed cars, air conditioning, big houses. And this was his quote. Ultimately, if you think about all the youth that everybody has mentioned here in Africa, if everybody is raising living standards to the point where everybody has a car, everybody's got air conditioning, and everybody's got a big house, well, the planet will boil over unless we find new ways of producing energy. Paul, stay there. Energy. We're going to come back, get into that, get Jakari Jackson in, in here on Big Breaking Gun News, and then we'll get into the latest on the NSA and Max Kaiser's coming up on the melting down bond market. Don't own bonds, it still affects you. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because Today, we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. All right, we're ready. We're back. Paul Watson riding shotgun. Jakari Jackson popping in with us. What's really gotten to me is the way people that work for the government in security services are so arrogant. And I've read history books about it. I've studied it. I've experienced some of it. But you, they, you know, they talk about in Eastern Europe under the Stasi and under the Soviets how arrogant bureaucrats were and how arrogant people were that would tattle on you to the bureaucrats just to get you in trouble or get your wife or get your business. Uh, or you look at the film The Lives of Others. Uh, that's actually based on a true story or a, a composite of true stories uh, about you know Stasi listening to lives that they were ruining, uh, surveilling people, not just listening to their phones, but reading their mail. And oh, the ultimate evil will never do that. And and how their own people started just just leaking information because it was so horrible to sit there and know how evil the state was. And see, that's why they're so scared of leakers because. It's not about the leaker leaking what's already known. It's about the moral authority of their own people saying, we're not going to be part of this. People say, oh, it's wrong. It was a military coup against Morrissey, who was elected. I don't even believe he was elected, folks. The globalists are backing him. He's committing horrible crimes against Muslim minorities and Christians on record. And the military has removed him and is saying, we're not going to have Al-Qaeda and Muslim Brotherhood leaders that have been violent and have been persecuting people in a reign of terror, we're arresting you. And usually I'm not for the military removing someone. I even saw Lou Rockwell, who I really agree with usually, somebody on his side saying, you know, it's wrong that uh, the military did this. Well, why are you agreeing with Obama? I, I mean, Hitler was elected and his military tried to get rid of him. Was Operation Valkyrie wrong? I mean, if somebody's elected, does it mean they can throw people, you know, into into furnaces and things? No. And I'm not saying there'll even be a good outcome out of this, uh, but clearly the globalists don't like what's happened. Clearly they don't like what's unfolded. Paul Watson, you're going to ride shotgun a little bit more with me into the next hour and take some calls ahead of Max Kaiser. We're going to get some Second Amendment news here in just a moment. But I, I mentioned this earlier, but, but I want to mention it again uh, and get your take on it. Because they had newsbusters. I'm actually looking for the article. I had it here. Uh, they had newsbusters. Oh, yeah, there it is. No, no, that's another newsbusters article who we link to sometimes. They do some good work occasionally. You know, if it's exposing the left, they'll actually report the news. None of it's the so called right wing. Oh, here it is. Alex Jones, I will defeat Rush Limbaugh in the free market of ideas. People like this show more than his. Now, 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 that's a quote out of context in there. And, and my issue is, I don't want to be like all the other talk show hosts that fight with each other and hate each other. 
Okay, if they can bring down Limbaugh, as they've tried to do, they can bring down all of talk radio. And there's major moves to do this. And there's Bloomberg articles saying I shouldn't be on XM. You know, there's uh, White House controlled media matter saying I should be taken off the radio, basically. When they try to bring him down a couple years ago and again last year, I went with Ted Anderson 50 50 and bought a large amount of advertising. Okay? A large amount. Because I believe, plus I wanted to test it out and see how it did. It kind of broke even. I think it was overpriced. It was like $4,000.60. So that was when it was discounted because folks had driven it down. And we wanted to go see, uh, you know, A, if advertising on there would work, and it was okay. But B, and probably even more importantly, we wanted to make a statement. And that was what my rant was about last week. And I said, with mom and pop stations, we've been able to beat him in the ratings many times. And I gave examples. So they put out a Talkers magazine thing saying, you know, that I'm not beating Rush Limbaugh nationwide. I never said that. And then basically say I'm a liar. Even though I've been on the cover of Talkers Magazine, breaking down that I have the largest online audience, the largest podcast. I mean, nobody out there has got 600,000 people a day downloading it like we do. And it just goes on and on. So my issue is, is that I'm sick of this distortion. In fact, if you guys type in Talkers Magazine, Alex Jones, and just click images, you can see me on the cover of it a few years ago. And then people can go find that article. But, but my point is, if you go to Alexa ratings and type in Infowars.com, versus RushLimbaugh.com, you know, we're thousands of thousands of places above him. And that's just one of our sites. Now, he's not mainly an internet guy. I'm not in competition with Rush Limbaugh. I had a caller call in and bash him, and I said, I don't really want to do that. It's a distraction. By the way, I don't, I, I'm not the one that wanted to be up against Rush Limbaugh. This was the job offer I was given was in this time slot 15 years ago. And again, they'll probably take this out of context and say, I'm attacking Rush Limbaugh because they want to get us fighting with each other. And I'm not going to be part of it. How they could take at, at Newsbusters, me saying we spent a bunch of money as a statement to try to keep Rush Limbaugh on the air because they can take him down, they can take us all down instead of all the other talk show hosts attacking him and joining in on it, hoping he got kicked off the air so they'd get his affiliates. That's not how I want to be number one. I want to be number one in the realm of ideas, which I've done up against him on stations and cities, and I gave examples. I did not say I was bigger than Rush Limbaugh on terrestrial radio, and I'm sick of people lying to their viewers about it. I mean, man, I'm sick of Media Matters in the White House. I'm sick of Rachel Maddow. I'm sick of you liars. And to see Newsbusters part of it makes me want to throw up. Excuse me. Man, this isn't a game, folks. I'm going to say it one more time for everybody. On record, all of you know there have been thousands of declassified programs. Most of you know about 10 or 15 of them off the top of your head. Of giving people lethal agents to kill them. And a lot of times watch them die slowly, including... Newborn babies, foster children, troops. Okay, you, you all know about that. You all know about them blowing up 200 plus chemical dumps and it raining down and telling the troops in the first Gulf War, don't wear your gear so they could deny that they'd blown up the chemical weapons. A death sentence for many of them, thousands. Now, you all know about that. It was in the New York Times again two weeks ago. Now, again, is the government the bad guy or the good guy? No one got in trouble for testing in the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, right through now. Because it's sanctioned by the robber barons that run our country. No one gets in trouble, ladies and gentlemen, for microwaving foster children or putting them in radiation chambers or nerve gassing U.S. troops in Project Shad or other programs like Porton Down in England. Nobody got in trouble for injecting black people for 40-something years with syphilis so they could spread it all over the United States and die slow, horrible deaths. Nobody got in trouble. How about some checkpoints to stop New World Order people? How about some investigations of what's in the vaccines? No, no, it's all, we're setting up the checkpoints for your safety with a bunch of holier-than-thou cops telling me I'm the terrorist, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Nobody's safe under the New World Order. Nobody, if this thing comes in. You got that, all you idiots that think you're part of the system, part of the winning team? You're not. You better get it through your head right now. We better get serious and get focused or it's over. Paul Watson, this is what happens when I take off two days. I've been actually <laughs> rampaging around Austin. No, but I mean, it's all coming down. 
It's all on record that every appliance will be remote controlled and spy on you. First, they do a, a kickback, uh, a, 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 a what's the term they use when you get an air conditioner that does this and you get a, 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 a discount on it to get the one they want? Rebate. A, a rebate incentive. And then they admit, then it becomes mandatory, where you won't be able to buy an appliance that doesn't track everything you're doing. And the smart meter is an imperial probe droid on the side of your house sitting there watching you. I'm sorry. I got Jakari Jackson in here watching comments on this. I didn't mean to get mad today. <laughs> on the previous thing, Media Matters, which is a White House operation, routinely writes articles probably once every couple of months bitching and moaning about how drudge links to us which if you think about it is really pathetic for them to devote an entire article bitching about how another news site behaves and what decisions it makes but that's Ridiculous. what the liberal authoritarians do it's always about how they sit up there and dictate how everything's supposed to run and we're all supposed to just bow down and say yeah you're the boss i'll do whatever you say they think that's going to frighten Drudge from linking to whoever the hell he wants. And, you know, two years later, you're still linking to us, being on there every day for a week. But hey, but Randolph Lewis, the UT professor of American studies, came out three months ago and said, Alex Jones is one of the most important political figures in America, put you on the same level as Rand Paul. So I guess that frightens them. That's why they have to denigrate us and dismisses and sideline us as much oh, as Oh, yeah, possible, we have no we no it. listeners, according to Newsbusters. And again, <laughs> I'm not mad because they did that. I'm sad for them. That is dishonorable. That is deceptive. That is wrong to take some edited thing and do that. I mean, that it, I'm sad for their humanity being lost because I want to defeat this thing. And I'm so sick of my fellow Americans acting like a bunch of scum, Paul. I don't know why they're so afraid of us, Alex. I mean, newsbusters, they're supposed to be a conservative libertarian news outlet. Why are they wasting their time attacking us? Unless it's just jealousy. It makes no sense. But we link to them when they do good stories. And it's, it, I just want people to be, be honorable. Jakari Jackson, you got any comments on this? I don't even want to get into the gun stuff, but you're up here working on oh, the No, day. no, that's, that ties into what I saw yesterday. You know, I went out to the, the rallies yesterday at the Capitol building. And we had the uh, the Second Amendment and also the Fourth Amendment rallies out there. And it was just like you said, there was a lot of infighting. You know, I was talking to Rob Dew about that yesterday. You know, he said, how, how'd the rally go? And, you know, one guy would go up and then the next guy would talk about that guy. The next guy would talk about that guy. And, and I'm like, oh, I thought we were bonded together under a common cause. Yeah, after we defeat the New World Order and get the Bill of Rights back, then we could fight with each other. Right. I mean, just give me a break, man. It's simple military common sense that we've got to stop fighting with each other yeah yeah i mean because the uh, the elites they have their stuff together at least you know to a point where they can be effective but you know us we just have we have to fight with this guy because we don't we don't like his stage on their on this or that and, and it's always something ongoing it's always something new unbelievable I, i'm going to continue with watson in the next hour but watson did uh, i want to get your take in the next segment on these video clips but right now let's go to this first one this is adam kokesh went down on Pennsylvania Avenue and loaded a 12-gauge shotgun, uh, which, in his own words, was four felonies. He sent me a text of this yesterday morning, mm -hmm. right after he uploaded it, on July 4th. Uh, and we're going to play that video. And my whole issue is the Supreme Court overthrew the law banning that. So he's trying to create kind of a Rosa Parks type case out of this, obviously. Right. And the fact that this is such an incredible move of bravery in America to go and load a shotgun on Pennsylvania Avenue near the emperor uh, just shows how enslaved uh, we've gotten when just 20 years ago, 30 years ago or so, people you know had guns everywhere openly in this country, including the District of Criminals. So we'll go to that clip and then go to your report from the Capitol. Here's Adam Kokesh. We will not be silent. We will not obey. We will not allow our government to destroy our humanity. We are the final American revolution. See you next Independence Day. Well, you've got to hand it to him. They'll definitely come after him for that, Jakari. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, um, I'm actually glad to see that video because when I went out to the rally yesterday, you know, there's a lot of confusion whether or not he was actually going to go through with that. You know, and even at the time I was out there, you know, people were confused and not sure if he was going to do it. And I had some people like, yeah, I'm not sure why Alec, why Adam backed out of that. But, you know, to see that clip shows that he, if nothing else, he followed through. Yeah, but, but the issue is, now, now tell us in this next clip, 
exactly what went on because it's not illegal to have loaded rifles walking down the street in Texas, but they arrest people everywhere for it. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us what happened with this armed march on the Texas Capitol. Okay, so I got to the Texas Capitol yesterday and I interviewed a few people before the march. I got there a little bit before it. And I encountered one guy, which you're going to see in the video coming up. Uh, I, I spun around because I was actually interviewing somebody else. I had to break off my interview to go look at this guy because the cops were around him. And I run up to the guy. I say, what were the cops talking to you about? They said, oh, they asked me to take the magazine out of my rifle. And I was like, well, was your rifle loaded? Did you have anything in the magazine? He said, no, I just had a unloaded magazine in my rifle, but nothing in the chamber. Hey, guys, mute Watson. You can hear him typing in the background. It's kind of a cool noise. He hammers those keys, but uh, we're going to go back to Watson after the break. You may have changed the outcome of that. You may have changed the outcome by going over there with your camera. Yeah, and I turned around to talk to the cops. But they were gone. I didn't see those cops for the rest of the day. You know, I've tried to be friendly with the state police down there in the past. They were very, very friendly. But whatever's going on down there now, they even try to tell our camera people they can't film sometimes when they're by themselves, intimidation-wise. And I just don't get, you like to become a cop and go, let me see how I can intimidate people out of their rights. Yeah, I think I mean, the, how last, would you the last time I was down there, we had a different rally, and I saw Mike Cargill down there. And I stood up on the bench to get a different camera and get a higher camera angle, and one of the cops comes over me like, you can't stand on the bench. You know, like in the United States. Yeah, but with Aaron Dykes, he's just yeah. down there uh, covering a press conference, and the cop comes over all mad and goes, give me your info, stop filming. And there's Aaron with a tripod and a camera and a, and a yeah. suit. Yeah. And, and, and Aaron's like, why are you bowing up to me? And it's like those Federal Reserve security guards 500 yards from their thing with their guns mm -hmm. saying, leave now. Yeah. I mean, it just comes down to, okay, Corral, I got a gun, I'm in charge. Pretty much. And that's what tyranny is. I got a gun, I'm taking over. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we saw. But, you know, to their credit, APD was pretty well behaved out there yesterday. It was the, uh, the brown shirts who were giving people problems. Okay, so I, I got that wrong in the first hour because I was going from memory because uh, I was watching that when I was half awake today. Uh, just to be clear then, um, it was the APD didn't violate your constitutional rights. It was the state police. Correct. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, we're going to skip this network break uh, so we can uh, play this clip here uh, for everybody. And again, this is your before, during, and after coverage of the armed march on the Texas Capitol. Right. All right, here it is. Again, images of people marching. Jakari, how many would you say were there? It looks like a lot. Yeah, I'd say at least 500. And you'll see, this is a, a time lapse. You'll see more people. This is Matthew Bailey, the Austin citizen, student at the University of Texas, U.S. Army veteran, recipient of a Bronze Star with the V device and the Combat Infantryman's Badge while in Iraq. I want to talk about what's going on in our country today. And one of the things that no one is even aware of, it seems to me, is the farm bill that's in the House of Representatives that's about to be passed. Okay, do you, does, even, does anyone realize that we're about to sign up for nearly a trillion dollars of expenditures over the next 10 years? Man, that's a Praise lot of people. Up. Yeah. And all this Praise came out of Kokesh just having an idea. Oh, yeah. And I, see, that shows the power of the individual. Of freedom. It brings a bigger message. If we wear a... If we wear this mask, like a, so say like a million of us come wear this mask, it's a big, it brings a bigger message. Well, this is the real American people right here. Oh yeah, you'll see some trendies here in a second. Oh, trendies were there angry? They were standing on the side of the street. You'll see them in just one second. We're out here to uh, protest the tyranny that the government's bringing down upon us in every which way, the First Amendment, Second Amendment, all the way down the tent. What will we do? Stand up like that! Our privacy rights are under attack. What will we do? Okay, there's the guy in question by the police. Oh, um, he, just asked, he asked me to uh, not have a magazine in my firearm and, uh, um, in order to, you know, not cause any tension. I, I respected that. What about him having and, bullets uh, in his guns? Yeah, what I yeah this do. guy's a veteran. The state is more dangerous than bullets than us. Uh, negative, sir. It, it was a, a loaded magazine, but there wasn't a throw up around in the chamber. And you see the trendies on the sidelines. They don't know what to do. They just want to take the vaccines and roll over and die. Are for different reasons, basically supporting different solutions. Um, I believe, I think we all believe that um, this 4th of July is not a time to celebrate uh, American freedoms, but to uh, reestablish them. Okay, here comes some more trendies. They just don't know what to do.
seeing slaves with guns? Yeah. Because they see a cop with a gun, they feel good. Yeah. And, and they see a slave with a gun. Sure it's only going to get worse. Uh, so I think we got to take a stand now before something more drastic has to happen. I think that this is a peaceful revolution today. And, uh, 14. 14. Yeah. Okay, so what motivates you today? Look at that InfoWars flag. Yeah. That's pretty sexy right there. And I'll tell you, Alex, I know you, you're wondering. I have a release for that kid. I talked to his dad, and I got his dad on camera. Oh, I know. See, I'm the editor and boss around here, so then the news guys are like, by the way, I got a release. That's great. And I guess it was so loud with some of the audio. Let's just critique it now. Great. You know, you get an A-plus for effort and an A-plus for all the great work all by yourself, Jakari. So... Great job as a one-man team down there. Uh, but expanding on that, it sounds like with the mic, is the shotgun and the yeah, cordioid yeah, open? I, uh, we had a little audio difficulty. Like I, the first guy had a real good audio doing the, the handheld mic. The other people had to pull him off the, uh, off the shotgun. Doesn't matter. You did a great job. Well, that you, is sir. a great report. Jakari Jackson working on the 4th of July, which you should be doing. You know, I ended up running around just crazed downtown waking people up against the new old order yesterday. i heard <laughs> i saw a couple of those couple of those videos you something were, came over me yesterday bridge. okay now so you're on the bridge and you're, you're doing a report and some lady's screaming at you to shut up but but then later i actually in the first video on the bridge you'll actually see her and her husband when i say 30 feet it's more like 50 feet they're way down on this bench i hadn't even been on that end yet right i wasn't talking loud i was like and here we are at the bridge blah 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 and, and, and even a lower voice than i do on air and i'm talking about how they're federalizing police all over the country and how this is just conditioning for incremental martial law and on the video because then again i quit shooting for radio listeners to describe it and they sort of walk and across the bridge to finish my jog and that's when they said something to me but but upon reviewing it there's no way she could even hear me yeah so she just saw you they were watching me you could see them on the video watching me from the bench because they were turned facing the other way but they turned around so they're turned around looking over the back of the bench at me and then i'm walking by him and she goes you just shut up your brainwashing <laughs> and, and i went excuse me she goes you heard me you, you, you're full of a bunch of brainwashing you know, to paraphrase, I, I think that's almost exactly it. And then I went, excuse me, what am I brainwashing about? And her husband goes, get out of here. <laughs> so it's like they're going to talk to me, and then right. I'm not to respond. And I started assessing them. They were both government workers. Yeah. I mean, I could tell probably both former military, but like socialist type. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, why are you saying I'm brainwashing and I was thinking, I didn't film these people. I hadn't even gotten to these people yet. Why are they? Right. And they started laughing at me. And there was some other guy with him. He was laughing. And he was videotaping, too. Mm -hmm. And he said, I told you. He starts getting up. He goes, I told you. Get out of here. Oh, they were bowing up. And, and I just went, I'm not going anywhere, buddy. I got a First Amendment. Mm -hmm. So she started calling the cops on me, it looked like. So I started walking away after they started walking away. And then some uh, park rangers came by who were listeners and by then i was taping again in case they came and started something because they they started walking away and then it's all dog psychology as soon as i turned then they came back mm -hmm. just like if dog runs up on you and, and you yell at it and then turn to walk away it comes again right i'm telling you people act like animals man i have never <laughs> seen cops as well yeah you stand your ground they back off as soon as you turn away it's over yeah. taser in the back and i don't understand it i mean are we literally the equivalent of like Pit bulls or something? I mean, is that how humans act? I don't know. I mean, just when we were doing the march yesterday, and I couldn't believe how many people were just standing on the you know sidelines, dumbfounded, like they they're watching some type of live action documentary. Like, oh, there's people walking in the in the street. I'm like, yeah, you can come and join us, but they didn't want to put down their lattes and carrot sticks or whatever else they were eating on the Fourth of July. It was a uh, it was a uh, it was good overall. But, well, you know, I want to salute the man. That crowd looked like. 800 people to me. I mean, it, you say over 500? It's, it's well over 500. I don't know the exact estimates. And actually, I had to do some creative editing. There was a, a topless girl in there. I had to try to do my best to cut out. I don't think she made it. I, I'm pretty sure she's not enough. No, I hear you. So, so you had to cut out a lot of the marches. What yeah, because she was not always in the shot. So I had to cut a lot of it out. But by and large, I, th I think uh, you got a good idea. Of you know, I heard a conspiracy about. theory. I heard those used to feed babies. Well. Uh, now it's 75% corn syrup and the brains are tiny. That's probably Can you believe there are conspiracy theorists say that there used to be a thing called families and dads and mothers, and yeah. they used to feed babies with us? I, it always makes me laugh when you when a caller calls up and you're like, you were uh, you weren't breastfed, were you? And they're like, how'd you know? And I, 
And it's just, I just never even, thought, I never even asked my mother if I was breastfed. It never. Kari, I think mind. you were probably breastfed. I, I probably was, but it, it just never occurred in my mind. You, know? you need to give her a call. Yeah. Hey, it's hard work for the women, but it's important. You know, it's designed for us because mm -hmm. it actually comes from our mother with our genetics. It has all the vaccines of every woman before, all the way back to the mitochondrial DNA. Did you know that? No. That's why cutting breastfeeding off is is it never before happened until the last few hundred years. Every once in a while, a baby couldn't take their mother's milk because of whatever reason. You gave them a jackass's milk was the best. Mm -hmm. uh, reportedly, all the world donkeys have the best milk for babies. Uh, but there's all sorts of other stuff. But no, uh, it, it is a crime against humanity. I, you know, it really hit me. All of this is a crime against humanity. The GMO with pesticides that grow in the corn. Right. Uh, the wheat. All of it, the New World Order, all of this is a bunch of crazy people who get off on screwing everything up. Exactly, exactly. You're such an extremist. I am pretty extreme. I like freedom on the 4th of July, and, you know, I don't want to be told I can't have my sparklers or whatever else I choose. Because you might be a terrorist. Yeah. Everybody could be a terrorist but the government, and then lo and behold, you look at the government, they're the ones running the terrorists. <gasps> what would you think? <laughs> Golly. Golly, Sergeant. We'll be right back with the third hour. Thanks, Jakari. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.